Hello and welcome to this short film about the new Lavazza Magistra. Today I'm going to be guiding you through how to set up the machine, how to use it, how to clean it, but more importantly, how to give you Italian espresso in your workplace. So let's get started. The machine is nice and simple to power on. Simply plug it in, turn on the switch at the back and the panel will light up at the front like this. Now we need to fill up the reservoirs on the inside, so simply open the front panel, lift the lid, and now you can clearly see your milk reservoir, chocolate and water container. Now this also can be filled from the top using the hatch, but if you prefer, simply lift the lever, lift it out and replace. Nice and easy. Once you've filled all these up, close down the lid, close the front panel, and we're ready to go. Okay, so now the machine is ready, let's make some drinks. To prepare an espresso, lower the cup tray like this, place your espresso underneath, and then choose your single espresso capsule. We're gonna open the drawer at the front, we're gonna place the capsule upside down like the picture shows us, inside the machine, and close the drawer. We're now gonna choose espresso, followed by the dispense button. And as simple as that, a freshly made espresso. Okay, so this machine will make a variety of coffee drinks, so let's just show you how to make a few more. To make a cappuccino, we're gonna lift the cup rack up to make room for a larger cup. Just like before, we're gonna select a single espresso capsule and insert it into the drawer. Pressing the cappuccino button, followed by the dispense button. And just like that, a cappuccino. So this machine is capable of making just hot chocolate as well. No capsule is needed for that one. Simply place the cup underneath, press the hot chocolate button, again followed by the dispense button. There we are, a delicious hot chocolate. Okay, so when the capsule drawer gets full, it's a good chance to get the machine cleaned. You will get a warning sign up here, so when you see that, remove the drawer like this. The capsules can then be lifted out and emptied. The back section also comes off, allowing you to empty the back drip tray. There is a front drip tray here with a little float that will show you when that needs emptying too. Simply take all this apart, give it a wash with some warm soapy water, reassemble, and then simply slide back into the machine once again. It's as simple as that. Okay, so in this section, I'm gonna take you through how to access the technical menu. Open up the front and locate the orange key situated under the lid here. This now needs to be inserted into this hole and locked in place. Now we can access the small panel at the back of here and locate the small grey button. So once the machine is up and ready, yep, which it is now, we can press the grey button and now we can access programming, data and cleaning. Now it says one, two and three. Now that's referring to the buttons one, which is the espresso button here, button two and button three. So for example, we wanna do a bit of a clean. Now this is gonna rinse some water through uh, the lower part of this section here. Get a cup underneath, press button three and then cleaning button one. And that just rinses through the mixing section of the machine here. To locate the brewing unit, that's under this panel. If you open that up, slide this black switch to the right, and then that can just be pulled out, and this can be washed, rinsed, and replaced. And then that black switch clicks back to the left. And lastly, if you need to open up and remove these sections here, it's probably advisable just to close down these small flaps, remove, replace, put back into position and open it back up. 
Once you're done, remove the orange key, keep this safe by putting it back into its position, close the lid, and you're back where you started.